diving at the new location at Tide Snake wasn't very rewarding, but my favorite find so far of the day has to be this leg. <laughs> my second favorite find of that dive has to be this lure right here. This is called a spook, and it's actually a soft bait. Usually they make these as a hard lure, and I've never seen one that's like a soft plastic before. So I have no clue what this is right here. It's super rusty. It looks like something from a bed frame maybe. Or a bike, maybe a bike seat. I'm not too sure what this thing is right here. I thought it was like a flashlight at first, but it's super rusty. It's just like a piece of metal. Water rising. Proceed immediately to shore. All right, guys, the water's rising right now, which means all these islands behind me are gonna go underwater, and that means I can't look for river treasure for about an hour. So in the meantime, we'll head back to the house, grab a surfboard, grab treasure, and Kendall and I will come down here, do some surfing, and hang out with treasure on the island. I'm not meant for this and why am I here, God? Blurry thoughts around, gotta get my head clear, God Will I find a one? Probably not Yeah, I'm headstrong, but I think a lot Yeah, I do wrong, but I've been with these songs of the higher one music they hit in the barn I never got caught up in drugs or the liquor That wasn't me, but I cannot lie to you and make control every breath that I breathe the Breath that I breathe The more I'm happy, yeah, the less that you see Make it hella music, let me so what does that make me? Me? Let it out, let it, let it, let you in. Uh uh, uh uh. Let it out, let it, let it, let you in. Uh uh, uh uh. Let it out, let it, let it, let you in. Uh uh, uh uh. Let it out, let it, let it, let you in. Uh uh, uh uh. Wonder what I'm doing. Wonder if this is a dream, I swear It is, I swear so the dam just turned off the water, so that means it's back at low flow down here at the river. We're gonna put on a second tank and dive at a location called Cut Bait. The spot is notorious for a lot of fishing lures and hooks, so we're gonna get over there, see if we can find some good stuff. The water today is really murky, and it's giving me like a little creepy vibe, but I'm using my flashlight, and it's actually kind of helping out a little bit, but it just gets really dark when you go down deep in Cut Bait.
All right, so the second location was a little bit more successful than the first one. We're gonna start things off with my favorite find of the second dive, and that definitely has to be this little rattle trap right here. This is my second favorite fishing lure of the day so far. It's a little crankbait, and I found another one just like that as well. Ended up finding a pair of goggles right here. These are actually like super slime coated. That's disgusting. Ended up finding a handful of rooster tails in that dive. Found a little bottle cap. My girlfriend loves to collect bottle caps, so I'll be sure to give this one to her. All right, so this is a little bit of a mess, but we have an umbrella rig in here, a jerk bait, and a rattle trap. Now the umbrella rigs usually go for probably like 20 to $40. The rattle traps are about $7, and the jerk bait's probably about seven to $12 as well. I found this little baby swim bait, and then I found this big swim bait. I've actually never found a lure like this one before, but this is pretty cool. It's like a sinker, but it has some gold flakes in the middle of it. This is a unique looking lure. Oh, and I lost it. So like always, I found a handful of sinkers. I always like to save these or give them out to some cat fishermen. These are reusable. On that dive, I found another cast net. I always like to get these out of the river because I find a lot of dead turtles and fish in it. And it's always nice to either give them to another fisherman or just throw them away. This one was a little too far gone, so I went ahead and threw it away. So we didn't find anything crazy good on the second dive, but I'm hoping to find something good on the third one. We're gonna put on a new tank, head down the river, and dive at the stairs down at the bottom of the river. This is a great spot because if anything kind of floats down the river, it usually settles in this location. So hopefully I find some good stuff in this spot. My name's Hunter Kadich. I called my buddy Jake to see if he wanted to come out and look for some treasure today. I came out a little bit earlier than he did and you will not believe what I found on my very first dive. It's a DGI Spark. It was upside down and I saw those little shining in the sun. Man, I'm so jealous that you found that. I've never found a drone before. Yeah, so. found a few GoPros but never a drone. I don't think it's gonna work but there is a SIM card in here and I'm gonna give this to Jake and hopefully we can scrummage up some of the footage. I believe this is the newest one DJI actually provides on their website, uh, the Spark. And it looks like it's fairly new, but I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's definitely waterlogged, but there is an SD card in here. So we can actually look at the footage and maybe figure out who this actually belongs to. And Hunter said that he would actually be more than happy to actually give it back to him. If you guys wanna follow Hunter on Instagram, I'll put his link in the description below. Feel free to do so. Tell him D Almighty sent you. But dude, what a great find. So we're gonna start things off with this pretty cool find right here. This is a little tackle box. I opened it up on the water, but there was so much mud inside, I couldn't quite tell what was all inside. So we're gonna open it up right here together. Oh, that, that's nasty. Look at that, that's so gross. <laughs> this is like a whole day of river treasure finds. Got some flukes in here. There's so much mud on these lures that it's gonna be kind of difficult to see, but 
Found a couple rattle traps. These are pretty good lures. These go for about seven to twelve dollars, I believe. Now it doesn't look like these lures have been in the water for too long, but all the soft plastics are kind of like sponged up, so these are way too far gone. But some of these hard bait lures we'll still be able to use. Like this spoon right here, this is a pretty good one. And we have another rattle trap right here. This is a black and red one. This one looks pretty cool. Got a couple little jigs, some swim baits, another fluke. I think that's a fluke. It's so muddy, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> That was so nasty. I hit a lure and mud and slime went all in my mouth. That's so gross. There's a whole bunch of shells in this box. I don't know if you can see, but they're all inside right there. This is kind of like a whole day of river treasure finds in one tackle box. Found a fishing pole at the bottom of the river. This one's super rusty. It doesn't look like I can fix it, but always really cool to find a fishing pole. So last week, my buddy Brandon found a slipper. And today, I found another one. This is so nasty. Found a belt. This looks like a pretty good one too. I found a piece of a Georgia license plate. I found a lock. Found another potential murder weapon out here. This is a broken down sharpened screwdriver. I found another umbrella rig. Like I said, these are pretty expensive. Found some pieces of glass in the river. Always nice to get this out. Don't want to step on this in the future. So we have a little bit of a mess here. We have a white jerk bait, two rooster tails, and a swim bait. I have no clue what this is right here. Let me know what you think this is in the comment section below. This is the nastiest lure of the entire day. Look at this thing, man. This looks like it's been in the river for so long. So I found this and I thought to myself that I have to get this out of the river for sure because I don't want anyone stepping on that one. This is pretty cool. I found a fish scale. I'm not too sure what kind of fish that goes to. I found some jewelry. It looks like a bracelet or a necklace. I found a Kitex swim bait right here. These are really good, but this one has been in the river for a very long time. And to finish everything up, I found a pair of sunglasses. This is definitely the coolest find of the entire day, man. It'd be so crazy if the person was actually recording while it crashed into the river. That'd be so cool to see. I'll make a deal with you guys. If this video breaks 100,000 likes, we'll plug the SD card into my computer and we'll review the footage together. And if we can figure out who this drone belongs to, we'll be sure to give it back to him. Yeah, shout out to Hunter, man. This is an awesome find. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe. We're closing in on 3 million subscribers and it looks like we can actually possibly break this by next month, which is insane man thank you guys so much for the incredible amount of support lately i truly appreciate it <laughs> and over here we have wild monkeys in their natural habitat wow <laughs>